Hey guys, Gom Coach here from TryThisPlay.com. Today I want to show you the bunch open scheme out of the spread playbook. The first thing I want you guys to do is put tight end and wide out as your package. So the tight end goes to the outside right wide receiver. Now the three plays we're going to run are PA slots over, inside zone, and Niners flood. Now there's going to be a couple of ways to run these plays. So three plays is really going to turn into about six plays. So let's just start off with the inside zone. So against uh this is a nickel defense base defense so with the inside zone guys to complement our schemes you can motion either x or a whichever one you choose um you want to hike it when he gets to about here and then we're going to run the ball and right there we're able to bust for a big gain so this run play is pretty good guys uh you don't always break it for a big gain like that but you know it can happen it's possible as you can see um, usually I pick up between, you know, three to five, seven yards around there. It depends on average. So it's a very good play to mix in. Um, you can also motion A in right there. Boom. We're able to hike it. We get a few yards. So it just, it just complements our scheme nicely, um, with the motion, which I'll show you guys in a bit. So we're going to go PA slots over. Now, how I like to set this play up is I like to slant B. Block my running back and drag A. So against the cover two guys, um, Y does get open, B gets open at some point, so does A. So we have A right there, easy dot. We have Tyree kill there to make a play, spin out a guy and pick up about 10 yards. Um, now we're going to try to hit Y. So same thing guys, drag A, slant B, and block your running back. Now... Now, Y's going to get wide open on the sideline for whatever reason. Um, it's actually uh, pretty cool how wide open he gets. There's a nice window right there, guys. If um, Now, he wasn't as wide open as I wanted. I know he was wide open, but I want him to be even more wide open. And to get him more that wide open, guys, it's always best to roll out of the pocket if you can. Now, they had outside containment on me. Um, right there, so I was forced to stay in the pocket and still able to make that throw comfortably. Um, however, if we do get to roll out of the pocket and try to roll out, if we do get to roll out, that corner just really comes down and plays that uh, drag, and no one's near him. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get the roll out this time. So if they're running like the the nickel blitz or something, and they're not blitzing, they're just setting it up, and uh, we're we're gonna try to get this roll out right now so we're able to get the roll out guys look at why no one's near him that f that flat just completely comes down so he's wide open if you can get the roll out if you can't just stay poised in the pocket and be patient so not only was y open we could have hit b in the middle we could have hit b about there if we stayed in the pocket we would have picked up five to ten yards Okay, guys, so there is another way to run this play. Um, I like to hitch A, block my running back, and that's it, guys. That's all you have to do. Now, now what you guys have to do is you have to playmaker the hitch, hit the hitch while you wait for Y to get open down the field as a crosser. So it's basically a trips tight end uh, offense with the crosser, how everyone likes to run the crosser. Um, it's pretty, pretty simple, guys, pretty simple. You can also flat route X. In route, I mean flat route A in route X. Um, what what this will do is it'll get X open underneath right there. Boom! If you want to mix it up. Um. So, all right, guys. Now, now this is what you can do. Now you can, if you want to get tricky, you know, you want to mix it up a little bit, make it look like the inside zone. You can uh, motion drag A, motion them right. And hike it when he gets to about there. When they see the motion, they're going to be thinking they're playing inside zone. So, you know, you can keep messing with them with the motion. You don't always have to keep that guy there on that play. So, guys, you you guys don't always have to um, motion him over and send him out. You can motion him You can motion him and block him and seal that outside. So, I would in route X, block my running back. You can slant B again. Motion A over. Have him block, though. Motion him over to block. And that's going to help seal the edge. And Y is going to be wide open on the sideline. So this is just, there's so much you can do with the motion in this formation. Um, 
make it look like the inside zone, you know, may, you know, there's so much you can do. So um, moving on to Niners Flood, uh, I like to fade Y, smoke screen X, and I want to drag B. B's going to be your tight end, so he might be a little bit slower. That's why I like to put him on a drag rather than an in, in, in route, take a little bit longer to develop. So he's going to get open in the middle of the field. Now, we know they're in the cover two. The clouds aren't going to play that smoke screen, and we're able to catch it for a couple of yards. Um, if you hit the spin, you can definitely break it for at least 10. Um, so, again, guys, they're in clouds. You hit the smoke, and we can wait for a check down coming across the field. So they're in clouds. I can hit the smoke screen, but I got Kelsey on the drag over the middle. It's very effective to mix in, guys. Now, if they're in a cover three... If they're in the cover three, it doesn't matter. You can um, you can just run it the same way I told you, but the smoke screen is going to be covered. But this time you're going to have the corner route. And that corner route is kind of sharp, especially when you have Tyreek Hill in the slot. You want your fastest guy in that slot for that corner route. It's just money. Um, so another way to run this play is, guys, you want to fade X, hitch Y. But we're going to make it look like the other plays now. You want to fade B. We're going to motion A over, and this time we're going to send him out on that post. And we're going to have the hitch on the left, just in case. So we have the hitch open on the left, able to hit him. And if we wait, we're eventually going to have A on the, on the left sideline. So what I like about this is, guys, it just looks like every other play. They don't know if you're running the boot. They don't know if the, you're running um, uh, you know, the inside zone with the motion. Like Every time they see motion, they're going to be nervous that it's inside zone. So just be mindful of that. We're going to see if we can hit A. You can wait to hit A on the sideline. Um, that's if you have the time, guys. Um, you're not always going to have the time, but if you do have the time, you can definitely hit A. Uh, one more thing, guys. With this PA slot over, I forgot to mention. When you play a cover two, when you play a cover two, guys, it doesn't matter. You are going to have x open on the deep sideline but you want to fade b block your running back and you want motion x to the right drag a so if you do this guys streak y2 i'm sorry so if you do this guys you should get x open deep but you need the time as you can see guys the corner comes down to play the drag and it's an easy dot let's do it again you know what, let's uh, let's leave him on the drag he's on because I like that angle he's taking for this. So we're going to streak Y and we're going to motion X over once again. And we're going to try to buy ourselves enough time to uh, throw this corner out. As you can see, the corner comes down and we're able to hit him on a dot. But, you know, guys, this is only going to work if you can buy yourself the time. If they're not blitzing you heavy, you know, always go to this. And if they are if they are running nickel blitz, if you're you know if they're running nickel blitz guys, no problem. So we're gonna set up nickel blitz. Um, as you may have noticed in my other videos, um, I explained to you the post concept, the high low with the nickel blitz. They're gonna be using shallow. They're not gonna be using deep. So with this PA slot um, corner play, PA slot overplay, uh, you want to drag a. Block your running back, of course, and um, you you want to really and hitch Y. So they're gonna have to choose between Y A and the, this post. Now what I would do is, guys, is I would motion A over to the right, make them play that. I want them away from, I want them away from as far away as from the post as possible, and we're gonna be able to hit that post deep over the middle. Now the reason is, <clears throat> I want his user running to the right. Um, when we're actually going to hit them over the top on the post on the left, so if they're bringing nickel bit, nickel blitz heavy, he's going to be he's going to be using this middle linebacker. He's going to stay kind of shallow. Um, he's going to want to follow that drag that we have from our A receiver. So if we motion him, I want to try user at the same time, two controllers. So he's going to run over there, try to play this post, but then we're going to try to play the drag, but then we're going to have the post. Sorry, my reaction time is a little late. I'm trying to play uh, with two controllers. <laughs> so if we look at the replay, in a real game, 
Well, one, we have the hitch. One, we have the hitch wide open. Two, um, they, they're going to respect... I'm, not, I'm, I'm running back. I know the play is coming. But they're going to respect that drag a little bit more. And if they don't, if they just throw the drag or the hitch. So your first read is going to be the hitch right off the bat, if you can take that, depending on where the user is. Now, they're going to play the drag really aggressive. Now, again, I was using... I was using one hand trying to play with two controllers, which is very difficult. But you can see if my user wasn't there, he would have been wide open. I mean, more open than he was. He was still wide open. But this is just a great concept to learn when you're playing Nickel Blitz. All right, guys. So against man-to-man, man-to-man, um, -man, they definitely don't want to play against this formation because everyone just <laughs> gets open. So, you know, start off with our original setup. We just slam B, drag A. And guys, this is this beats every man in the game. We have A, we have B, we have Y, and we're going to have X open. So if I show you the replay, guys, man coverage should be the least of your concerns in this formation. So, as you can see, everyone gets open. You can feed them all. Everyone eats on this play against man-to-man. -man. So we have A open, we have B open, and we have Y open at the same time. And if you wait for X, X will eventually pull away, split the safeties. So this play is just great. I'll run it again just to show you guys. This is definitely should be your go-to man beater um, every time. Every time they're a man. I don't care what formation, I don't care if it's cover zero. This should always be your go-to uh, man beating play right here see we have B right here boom first down uh, let's hit Y now we'll hit Y so same thing guys we're gonna hit Y now so look at Y wide open wide open guys it doesn't get better than this literally everyone gets open so that man don't even worry about man-to-man -man coverage it's insane. And like I said, if you have Tyreek Hill in that slot with the Niners flood, if you want to run, if, they, if you, you know, if they play man, just slant B, run it, run it as is. And guys, this is money. Uh, th this corner route versus man to man, don't even, don't even stress it, guys, because Tyreek Hill is going to pull away so easily. Look at that. He's just too fast, guys. He, he breaks the game. So man to man is, is done. It's done. So. Guys, listen, I think we covered almost everything. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Please visit trythisplay.com if you're interested in more premium tips and ebooks. Thanks again for watching.